Hi guys. Well, hello guys. Maybe not hi, but well, I really don't know. I'm back here with another video. It's been a really long time. It's been like, what, like a month or two months? It's crazy. Today we are reacting to Jaden animations. This video was just made like eight hours ago. So let's get right into it. It's called the best Pokemon game you never played. Oh, okay. Let's get into it. So I just played one of the best Pokemon games ever, and I'm here to tell you all about it. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Ruby was one of the first video games I remember owning, and I've decided to devote the rest of my life and soul to the franchise. And by that, I mean I'll play the new games when they come out. Do I have to like them? No. Frankly, I think the past few recent ones nice. have been kind of garbage. But that won't stop me from getting my hopes up, thinking the next game will be different, even though deep down, we all know it won't be. But Pokemon huh. does have a few side games you might- Didn't I see, like- Didn't Pokemon release, like, two no new games, like, a couple of days ago? Like, Pokemon Shrek or something? I really don't know. I've heard of, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or Pokemon Stadium or that weird geometric one. But there's <laughs> one franchise that I feel like doesn't get talked about nearly as much as it deserves, and that's Pokemon Ranger. Ranger? I had the original Pokemon <laughs> Ranger game as a kid, and I remember two things about it. I liked it, and circles. Lots of circles. <laughs> the flashbacks were beginning. When I remembered Pokemon Ranger existed, I decided to look it up and see if it was worth possibly making a video on, and that's when I realized there were actually three Pokemon Ranger games. Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon <laughs> Ranger Shadow of Zavamia, and Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs bit of a Pokemon Ranger mouthful, but I digress. I was looking at some forums of people <laughs> discussing which one they thought was the best, and the Shadows of Almia one seemed to be high on a lot of people's lists. So I bought the game. Now sit down and get comfy, because I just okay. played this game for the first time, and I'm here to tell you about why it's the best game ever. The game starts off with your character taking the entrance exam to a Pokemon Ranger school, and it only took me two attempts to draw five consecutive circles around this barely moving Pikachu. You're dang right, that's impressive. I guess that's all it takes, because now I'm officially a member of this secret army for this inscrutable teen school plotting to rule the world. Oh, he's just kidding. Yeah, it's a normal school. I'm introduced to my class, and for some reason they've been, like, starved for new human contact or something, because they're bombarding the teacher with questions. Are they a boy or a girl? Which is it? Is she cute? <laughs> so I'm introducing myself, and apparently the teacher catches this Keith. What kind of question is she cute? Okay. Kid looking at me with a big grin. Anyway, you go sit next to Keith. Oh, okay, just plop me right next to him. Yeah, I don't mind or anything. Thanks, Teach. Anyway, you get a tour of the school from this girl with me, meeting the other teacher, Mr. Kinsaid, who's apparently a stickler for making sure kids don't run in the hall, and this kid, Isaac, that Rhythmy called Mushroom Hair. Both my IQ and my height in centimeters are 163. Alright, bud. After getting a feel for the school, you're taught how to capture Pokemon with your styler. Loops portray the feeling of friendship, so the more loops you draw around the Pokemon, the more it will submit huh? to your friendship. That's nice. Touch the people. <laughs> uh, you finish the school day and are fast asleep in the dorms what? when all the students decide it's initiation time. Get up, sleepyhead, it's 4 a.m. time for your student initiation. That's totally normal. Yeah. Yes, sirs. They tell you to find all four of the stylers they've hidden around what? the giant school, and after doing so, you have to put them in the At four in the morning, you go for a hunt. That's a really good school. It's meant for some reason. So you head down there after finding them all, Oops. and are in the basement when- Why are you down here? Only I'm permitted to be in the basement. Leave, now! Anyway, Isaac, have you finished testing my very secret experiment no one can know about? The rest of the school year goes on without any big problems. Pokemon Ranger Crawford comes and talks about what it's like to be a ranger. You save the milkman from some Bidoof. You attend a one-day internship at the local Pokemon yeah. Ranger base, and they make you bring them their lunch as an important what? mission. Actually, while you're at the internship, someone runs over and says the Pokemon on the beach are acting strange. You go with the rangers what? to check it out to see all the Pokemon going crazy, and save the day by capturing them with your loops of friendship. But yeah, that's weird. Finally, you make it to graduation. Jaden, nice. come up and make a speech as the class representative. Oh, I'm the class representative, huh? Well, don't mind if I... 
So after saving everyone from a very strange rampage of Tangrowth, you start working what? at the Pokemon Ranger base you interned at. There's a call about- I don't know why. I love Pokemon cards. I don't know any Pokemon's names. I can't remember any. Strange. Some more Pokemon acting strange down in a nearby cave, so your first mission is to investigate what's going on. In the cave, you stumble upon this weird missile-looking machine that seems to be what's hypnotizing the Pokemon in its vicinity what? and making them go crazy. So you destroy it and everyone's proud of you. This Professor Yay. Hastings guy is called down from the Pokemon Union to take a look at the cave machine. And I guess he's like a hundred years old or something because what? the rangers want you to go meet him halfway in Puel Town to make sure he doesn't <laughs> get lost and die along the way. You take one step in town and oh god all the Pokemon are going nuts. Turns out there's more of those rocket <laughs> machines planted in the town and as you're going around smashing them, you run into some guys that are not only very shady, but also terribly shifty. They run away to tell their leaders there's Pokemon Rangers smashing their stuff, and further into the <laughs> town you find them again with their admin, who's like, Dude, what the heck? What do you have against our Giga Remos, you vandals? Treat things with respect. And then attacks me with Rattata and a Toxicroak. Not gonna lie, their battle music kind of bangs, though. <laughs> Turns out they're part of this gang called Team Dim Sun, and after capturing their Pokemon with friendship loops, they decide to retreat. We're able to find Professor Hastings and bring him back to the base to analyze what we now know are Giga Rambo machines. He finds a tiny black crystal in the center that seems to be the thing that allows Team Dim Sun to control the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. The base considers this a problem, which is reasonable. What? And now the Pokemon Union starts getting involved, which is like the big head honcho of Pokemon Ranger what? bases where all uh. the Ranger prodigies are. The story continues okay. as the Union tries to uncover more about what Dim Sun is up to, and you keep interrupting their plans. You catch him trying to drill a tunnel in the side of a mountain. You catch him having a secret base and cargo ship in the middle of a <laughs> volcano, which Mr. Kinsade is found to be part of Dim Sun. Big surprise, didn't see that one coming. You haven't been running in the ship's hallways, have you? You catch them mining hundreds of dark crystal shards in an abandoned okay. mine. That one was a bit of a problem because apparently there was the mother of all shadow crystals They are powerful enough to power this incredible machine they're in the middle of developing that cool. they plan on using to control all <laughs> the Pokemon really within a 500 mile radius they got wow. their grubby hands on and helicoptered away to their headquarters. Probably should tell someone about that. But the good thing is we ended up finding the diary of the Dim Sun President's father, who writes about how if we gather these three gems called the Tears of Princes, the gems will be able to combine their power and negate the power of the Shadow Crystal. Alright, let's... Let's go do that. The first gem is told to be in this giant ice castle called Alama Castle, and on the way there, you run into Dim Sun grunts trying to stop you. They're not hard to deal with, and they start getting a bit frustrated. <laughs> I want to pay you with a snowball. Hard. You make it to the castle after swimming through a bunch of ocean boulders and- Okay, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here. We're running out of time. I think we should do a part two. Yeah. That's really all. Nice.